Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. It's a 14 Sony LED TV. Here actually the motherboard is damaged due to lightning. This is the power supply board. These are the connections. Here you can see a separate inverter board. See friends, it's a separate backlight driver board. Here you can see these are the connection pin details. It's an old model LED TV around 10 years old. So for this TV, the new motherboard is not available in the market. Only used boards are available in the market. So here I am going to install new universal board for this TV. Here you can see when the Tcon board gets 12 volt input VCC. The Tcon board will pass the backlight on command through this FFC cable to this inverter board. So for installing the universal board, we need only a 12 volt input VCC and a ground connection. There is no need to connect the backlight on pin. So for get generating 12 volt from the power supply board we need to short 3.3 volt with power on pin in the power supply board So here in this TV we are planning to install the universal board in a way that we can use the original board in future. So here we are keeping the all original sockets. Here you can see here the customer needs dual HDMI. So here we are using the dual HDMI universal board. And this is the model number T53 U21 Not 2. See friends, here in the power supply board, the first pin is the power on connection. Here you can see the pin number 1 is the power on test point. Here you can see the detail. The pin number 1 is the power on test point. So, to this pin number 1, we need to bypass a 3.3 voltage. So friends, here you can see, using a 1K resistance, here I bypassed 3.3 voltage to this power on pin. So using this resistance is for additional protection. So now let us power on the power supply board and check the voltage using a multimeter. The pin number 1 is the power on pin. See friends, now the SMBS is turned on now here you can see the 12 volt input VCC so friends finally now the next step is to choose the LVDS cable
here in this take on board the supply input vcc is in right side here the panel input vcc is in right side so we need to choose a lvds cable with right side input vcc so friends here i take this lvds cable with right side input vcc so this is suitable for this take on board see friends now it's connected so when this lvds cable is connected to the motherboard it will generate the 12 volt panel vcc so when the 12 volt panel vcc is received to this take on board it will provide a command to the backlight inverter board through this ffc cable that connected each other between take on board and backlight driver board from this inverter board then it will pass the command to this power supply board so we don't need to connect any backlight on connection for the backlight for installing this universal board so now we need to join a 12 volt and ground connection from the power supply board join a wire so let me do the wiring work first after that i will show you the result See friends, here we joined two wires from the original socket. One is the black one is the 12 volt input VCC. Here actually we are going to install the double HDMI board. This is just only for testing purpose. So the green wire is the ground connection. Now we connected the LVDS cable. I am using this single HDMI board is only for testing. So now let us power on the TV and check the picture. You can see the red light. So let us release the TV from the standby. Here we are planning to install the universal board in a way that in future we can install the original motherboard. So here we are maintaining the default sockets and all connections. See friends, now the picture comes and the backlights are working properly. See friends, when I turn off the TV, the backlights also gets off automatically. So that's it. Now we need to fix this all properly.
see friends finally now we made all connections in sockets without destroying the default sockets and wires so here you can see also here here we fixed the double hdmi board in this box so almost 70% of the installation is complete See friends, here you can see, finally, now we connected all sockets. These are the speaker connection, LVDS cable, sensor wires, everything here we connected. And here you can see the result. Now the picture is upside down and the service mode code for this particular board is input 2580 press input 2580 on the remote. In some models, it will be in menu 1147. Here in this board, it is input 2580 for entering the service mode. In service mode, first we need to adjust the LVDS mapping. Here you can see, in this setting, we can adjust the mapping problem. See friends, now the LVDS mapping is sold before changing the panel mirror option for solving the picture upside down issue. First, we need to set the logo. Here you can see these are the logo available in this board. So here I set the boot logo on Sony default. Here also I turn on the auto power on option so the TV will turn on automatically when it is powered on. In now we can go to the panel adjust for adjusting the mirror image. See friends. Now we turn on the panel mirror option and you can see now the picture is correct. See friends, this is the model number 40X720. See friends, you can see the final result. Now, the TV is repaired successfully. So, hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thank you for watching.